right, shallow walk. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, and uh, double other city apostles are great millstone. Who rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel, which consists of so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and uh, people who descended from those people around the world, no matter how they look like. In this present time, once you come from your father lineage, on, uh, uh, around the world, and your lineage is of so-called Negro, Latino, and in, um, Native Indian descent, you have the house of Jacob. Alright? Um, this is Amma 1 from GMS Trinidad, Great Millstone Trinidad Camp. And, uh, Go and do a video on these mega churches. It's a big business. Right? These churches with, with these big massive congregations, you people don't understand that you are not even being fed in these churches. All you're just going for is to give your money. That's all you're going to do. Give them your money for for no reason. These churches are, are not of the Mosai. They are not of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And God, the God of the Bible, did not put his stamp on these churches. The stamp, the churches, Mosai put his stamp upon is the men and them that sigh and that cry for all the abomination that be done in the midst thereof, which go trick along, which go be. Great Millstone in these last days and the men who teach the same thing that Great Millstone teaches. But these people here, they are not, they, they, these churches are not of the most high. I just stumbled upon an article there, just doing a little research, and they say mega churches mean big business. Alright? Around 12,000 people. Participate in a service at the Christian Fraternity of Guatemala Church near Guatemala City. Now, the Guatemalans are Israelites. Alright, so you go find a lot of Jakes going to church. That is just how Jake have a connection with the Bible. So plenty of them just flock to the church thinking these churches teaches them the truth they don't. You know? What then had, what then Israel had not found that which he seeketh for, but the election had obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election had obtained it, and the rest were blinded. These are the blinded ones. All right. Now maybe let me say it as some of the elect in these, the most I will take them out because they have a, these are big congregation. So it says me CNN, mega churches across the United States are becoming increasingly popular, which is not only bringing, in, bringing thousands of worshippers together, which is not which is not the most high because these people, they are going, but also billions of dollars in profit, from self help books to CDs and DVDs. Mega churches are becoming big money makers for the pastors and ministry they are a part of. And that is true. That is true. And the scriptures say that is true. These churches, I don't care whether it's a mega church or a minor church, these big massive congregations. All right, it have 12,000 people here. If each of these people is to give $1, like $12,000 for the pastor, for the church, all right? So if they is to give $2, like $24,000, if they is to put $100, then we say that, that 120000 dollars in one day. And there's other people putting way more than a hundred. Might put two, so might put five. And it's just money making. And then they go sell CDs. Then they go sell DVDs. 
they like this guy, they like this guy Nathaniel Seven. He is entwined with these mega churches. He wants to be a mega church in Israel in these last days. Nathaniel Seven, Nate. Nathaniel Alaga. Well, he's Nathaniel now. Yeah. So that is what these guys. That is what the, they are about. Going on, it says mega churches are extra large churches that can accommodate upwards of 15,000 people. Why you need such a big congregation for? Why, why, why you need that kind of thing people for? It's for the money. When you have a lot of people in this church, they don't care about your salvation. This guy here on the screen, Joel Osteen. He doesn't care about your salvation. He cares about your money. How much money you could bring for he? It are these guys down here, pasta, coffee, and all these fake prophets down here. Alright? They don't care about your salvation. They care about your money. How much money you have in your pocket so that they could make money off of you. Making merchandise of you. That is scripture. I say that. It says people and a common among the among members of the evangelical Christian faith. Scott Tuma, professor of sociology and religion at Hartford Seminary, told CNN that the mega church on average has about 6.5 billion million income a year. Now where all this money going? Where all this money going? Osteen is a pastor at Lakewood Church in Houston, Texas, and his televised service reaches over 7 million people each week across the United States and around the world. The Lakewood Church, which Osteen is in charge of, has a yearly budget of more than 80 million. But church officials deny that it's about money. So what it is about? <laughs> Where did they have a shy? The son of the most high had all that money walking with him. Yo, what it is about? It's about money. This is Ezekiel 34 verse 1. It says, And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. These, is, these people, majority of these people in these mega churches. Let me just type up mega church separate. Let me go on the um, Wow. See? This is how this is this is what you just be seeing in these mega churches. It's a it's a show these people are be putting on. It's just a show. The most high not done with this. The most high is not done with this. This is folly. And he's going and burn it all. These people and them here is Israelites. These Guatemalans. They are Israelites. I believe they're going to be from the tribe of Zebulun. Guatemalans, the Panamanians. If I'm mistaken, they are Israelites. So when the scriptures say prophesy, Ezekiel 34. It says what son of man prophesy against the shepherds of Israel prophesy and say unto them thus saith the Lord power unto the shepherds Shall I? woe be to the shepherds of Israel yeah you people who mislead in the Israelites and Nate you go be part of that that do feed themselves should not the shepherds feed the flocks? Should not you feed the flocks instead of yourself? 
instead of taking the people and their money shouldn't you give them uh, or help them because some of these people i talk about from down here who i know personally and they're good for the ass too they go with a willing heart and give the pastor all the money and some of them remain hungry oh and the pastor all the money to drive a benz or a bmw or build up a nice house for himself should not you be feeling the flux, you wicked pastors and uh, who, who see about the Mosai people? Alright? Shouldn't you be feeling the flux? It says, Thus said the Lord power unto the shepherds. The shepherds is the ones who lead. The shepherds is the ones who lead. That is a shepherd. The ones who lead in the flock is the shepherd. It says, should not the shepherd, go be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. How do you feed yourself? You take the people and the money. You ain't giving them the real truth. Yahweh Shai said freely, you have received freely, give. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? These are your flocks. The majority, plenty of these people, they is Edomites. Well, I'm going to type up mega black churches. Because that's what I'm called, black churches. Right. Right. Okay. This is the fuck, I see. You see? Madness. Pure, pure, pure madness. Hey, Jake Gorner. But what I say, right? Shouldn't, shouldn't these men, shouldn't you be feeding the flock of Israel and not your own pocket? You hold your face clean, your beard clean. Your, your head ball. This guy here, Creflo Dollar. When you are past that name, Creflo Dollar, for. <laughs> he talking about money. He all, he all, his whole focus is money. His whole focus is money. He talking about dollars. Crash, Lord Dollar. He don't even have a, a, a good name for preaching. Crash, Lord Dollar. And people follow this man. But Esau put them up there to deceive. The real truth is the ne Negroes, Latinos, Natives are the Israelites. It says he eat the fat. Verse 30, verse 3. He killed 34, verse 3. He eat the fat and clothed thee with the wool. He kill them that are fed, but he feed not the flock. <laughs> it says the disease have you not strengthened. And Jake have a fucking disease. Because they don't have the truth. Neither have he healed that which was sick. Neither have he bound up that which was broken. Neither have he brought again that which was driven away. Neither have he sought that which was lost. But with force and with, with force and with cruelty he have, have he ruled them. And they were scattered because there is no shepherd. And they became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. And, 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 and that is because of you. You wicked pastors, including this one here. This is a video from Apostle Aramla page. Of building and maintaining Israelite-owned institutions should not be worth your time. Yeah, what, yeah, what Any he leader out there. Yeah, what he's saying. Yeah, what he's saying. He had the same mentality. Because he does be saying that uh, we had to be building schools. And, and building, trying to build up the Israelite community. 
and building schools and food programs, which is nothing wrong with our food program. But the most I didn't come and tell me to build enough damn schools and have no food program. Go and teach the word. Go and teach the word. That is all the most I tell me to do. Go outside here and preach the word to Israel. A food program just like when the Yahweh Shai, the Lord, who the world ignorantly called Christ, when he, he, he um, was feeding in John 6, he fed the people. They sought him for food right after that. They didn't, sought, they didn't seek him for the miracles we he doing. Like, wow, this man really break the man really take five loaves of bread and feed all these people? No, it had Jake's who was seeking him for food again. And that's the same thing they go do now. But the, the real food is this knowledge. This is, um, the real food is this knowledge. That is the real food. Isaiah 55 verse 2. A fact, I must have from one. It says, Ho, everyone that thirsted, come ye to the waters. The waters is this knowledge. And the ones who thirsted is the Israelites who looking for the truth. And the waters being dispersed abroad by the way of the internet through the men of Great Millstone, beginning with the apostles, all the way down. That is how the water is being dispersed abroad. Right? Just like how I was thirsting, I came to the waters, I was fed. I was fed waters and bread. John 7, 38. And, and, and he that had no money, come and buy, come ye buy, and eat. Ye come and buy wine and milk without money and without price. Buy wine and milk without money and without price. But what you had to do, you had to pay by studying. You had to pay by, say, so some brothers might have to give up the whole. You had to pay by your life. You had to kill the old man. Some brothers might have to pay giving up the whole so-called family that they had and go. That is what the most I looking for. Not no literal money. Peter, Peter, as Peter, Paul told the man, thy money perish with thee. Your money ain't have no value here. Keep your money and move on and ask the eighth chapter. You have no value here. But the most high, he's the he's the one who made money. He don't need money. The goal is his. The, the, the scripture said the earth is his and the fullness thereof. You do have to pay the most high for nothing. You can buy the truth. Buy the truth and sell it not. You can't you cannot buy the truth. How you just buy the truth is by putting your all into this. Your whole heart, soul, mind, spirit into the knowledge of your about Shami Awashai. That way buy the truth. Not with physical paper money. This whole economy going on crash just now. Verse 2, it says, Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread? Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread? These, these, um, this, this, this doctrine that need pushing out, that all these fake prophets, these fake pastors pushing out. Matter of fact, I'm going to look them up. There's some big churches in Trinidad also. Alright. Um, let's know. But it's a men like Pastor Coffee. It's a men the Elam Revival Ministries. It have a lot of big churches down here. But I ain't seen none. I ain't seen none. 
But anyhow, that the big Roman Catholic Church it have a lot of churches. That is scripture. Many false prophets shall arise and deceive many. Not a little bit going to arise and deceive a little bit. And you church people doesn't understand that scripture. I'm going to go back and read. It says, Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfied not? Hearken diligently unto me, and eat that which is good. What is good? Romans chapter 7 verse 12. The law is just and holy and good. That is why you had to eat. And and, and Yahweh Shai is the embodiment of the law. So you had to eat Yahweh Shai. And let your soul delight it itself in fatness. That is what you had to do. Delight yourself in the truth. That is the real fatness. The real riches is the knowledge of the Most High. Not I telling you you're going to be blessed. Forevermore with all the riches you could think about. And and God is going to help you, sister. And brother, you're going to get a car you was looking for. And sister, you're going to get a house you was praying for so hard. And I bring you on TV and I, and, I, and I hire people to play like the sick. Right? Because that's what it has been doing. And I hire people to play like the sick. And then say, we healed you. So you will come from the TV, you watch that. You will come and you will go to them. And for some reason, they never could heal you. Because they just be high end people. And it's just a bunch of witchcraft. Yeah, maybe, let me say, all right, let me say some of them really, really, just for just for argument's sake, heal somebody. Right? That healing in Guanlas. Because they're not actually healing you. It's just a delusion. It's just a delusion. And that is how these people play. It. Delusions. And this, this guy here, he's a freaking witch. Nate. Nate is a witch just like them fellas on him. Who was not forwardly thinking and talking about building and maintaining Israelite own institutions should not be worth your time. For the price he paid, we have a right to live in total victory. I want you to get that down on the inside, not partial victory, to where we have a good family, we have good health, but we constantly struggle in our finances. That's not total victory, not partial victory, to where we have a good family, we have good health, but we constantly struggle in our finances. That's not total victory, not partial victory, to where we have a good family, we have good health, but we constantly struggle in our finances. That's not total victory, not partial victory, to where we have a good family, we have good health, but we constantly struggle in our finances. That's not total victory. See, too often we accept things. Defeat, mediocrity, addictions. People tell me, Joel, that's just who I am. But with all due respect, that's not who you are. Um, so like I say, I got this video from Apostle Aramla page. Shalom Barakata Apostle. I didn't say that before. Shalom um, Barakata Apostle Um Yeah. So that is what, that is how we need, that is the doctrine here that's becoming on that. That is the doctrine people love to hear. This false doctrine is a false doctrine. I'm going to get an next precept. Um, Isaiah 56 verse 10. And it says, His watchmen are blind. That is Esau's watchmen. They are blind. Because they're not telling you. They, they can't see what is to come. What is to come? The real watchmen could tell you. That is the apostles are great millstone. Like the apostle Aramlab. Who I now see. Who, who page I was now on with that video. 
He is a watchman. He could tell you what is to come. Apostle Allah to ha, Raka, Apostle Allah, Apostle Allah Raka, Apostle Allah Gaba, all the way down, Lamanata Zak, Allah to Zaya one, all the way down. Those are the ones who could see. They are the watchmen for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The watchmen for Esau are blind. They are all ignorant. The word ignorant means to lack knowledge. They all lack knowledge. Scripture says in um, 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 3, Speak no more proudly, for the most is a God of knowledge. So apparently they are not serving the God of knowledge. They are serving the God of ignorance, which is Satan. Because Satan is ignorant to the scripture. That's why when he, he, he come and um, try and tell himself he could go, go at it with the word itself, <laughs> which is Yahweh Shai, he got cut. <laughs> you know, Yahweh Shai bring out the real fire on them and break down the scriptures the correct way. It's just they are dumb dogs. A dumb dog, if you have a dumb dog in your yard, right, the dog supposed to um, give you a warning for if a thief. Jump in your yard. Yahweh Shai say he coming as a thief in the night. These people don't give you a warning. Nathan giving you no freaking warning because Nate take money from the same white man. Nate is a shepherd he saw. Right? Nate, General Yahana, Sakari, al to be exact. Um, all these fake groups who, 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 who talk in this crap. They are shepherds of Esau. They are not shepherds of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, but shepherds of Esau. Because as I say, a dog supposed to, when the thief come in, and the thief is about to come, which is Yahweh Shai, supposed to give you a warning, hey, woo, 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 you know, back to the, to the house. Man in the house will wake up and say, shit. Look, look. I'm allowed to do some against the thief and, and fortify myself. Or, or, or call the police, whatever. On a carnal level. Yahweh Shah is the thief on a spiritual level coming to take this so called white man down and set up the kingdom of heaven. And the people who are sleeping, you have your shepherds to thank for that because they weren't telling you the truth. The, the men are great, Millstone. Alright? It says they cannot back. They cannot back. They cannot give warning because they do not have the spirit of prophecy. The spirit they have on them is a worldly carnal spirit to establish a kingdom right here in this kingdom. That is the words of the of the of the so-called most controversial man in Israel, General Yahana. What he say? He say, uh, 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 you could have sex with your woman and she and she and she. And she asked, Fuck. They cannot back. They can't give you a warning to tell you. You have a shy coming back. It says lying down, sleeping. Alright? The, the sluggards lying down, loving to slumber. It says, yeah, they are greedy dogs. Which can never have enough. They are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way. Everyone for his gain. Everyone from his quarter. They can't have enough. They can't understand the words of the Mosai. They can't have enough. They, they just need more, more, more. Give me more money, more money, more money, more money. You know, they can't have enough and say, hey, hey I got, we don't need 18,000 people in the congregation. These mega churches is just about money. Any church for that instance is just about taking your money and leaving you more hungry than before. You, they're not filling you up with the truth. They're filling you up with Bullshit and lies. And it's about is the time reached for it to for it to collapse. 
But you have about Shami Awashai to collapse these churches, to collapse these false prophets, to collapse all these uh, um, lies that they spread around the earth. First Timothy 6 verse 5. It says perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth. Look up that word destitute. Strong's G six fifty Apostereo Apostereo It means to the fraud rub the spoil <laughs> Wow it means to the fraud and that is what it has do that is the fraud yeah rub yeah and the spoil yeah the destitute of the truth because of rubbing you of the truth the spoiling you of the truth they are defrauding you of the truth and taking your money and saying that God with you when you're paying your tithe. With really, you're supposed to pay a tithe. You're supposed to pay a tithe. But these people just have a totally different perception on it. Like. They're taking your money and holding you to the scriptures. A Malachi 3 verse 8. Every Sunday that I had to read in all these mega churches. Malachi 3 and 8 is the favorite scripture. <clears throat> It says, and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness, from such withdraw thyself. So you see that guy who totally won money, bringing, give me money, give me money. The scripture says, from such, turn back. So that, that, that man's spirit is right. And Nate had that same spirit. Nate had the spirit of taking your money every Sunday. That is why he's so intrigued with a big congregation. Because he he just smiling, yeah. He getting through. You know? And um yo, the how about Shami Shai, the highest on high is coming to bring destruction to all them wickedness. Just now you can see a collapse of all these churches, all these churches, all, all these mega churches. And the true church of the Lord is going to come, is going to shine. And the fake church is going to be done away. And with that, I want to say Shalom to the elect of Israel. Because fuck you two to the truly and truly. We just, I'm not saying Shalom to you. The brothers who sincerely believe in this thing, Shalom to you. And double honesty, the apostles of Great Millstone. And, um, Barakataya Hawaba Shami Awashai. Peace to the elect. Hopefully this was edifying.